Hello and welcome back. It's time for more Alice in Borderland. This is season two, episode seven, the penultimate episode of the season slash series. Um, it isn't really the penultimate episode of the series because apparently there's another season coming. But um, if what people have told me is correct, season two ends off at the end of the manga. So it's the end of the series in terms of manga canon, I'd imagine. But um, regardless, I don't know what to expect here. Um, I'm guessing we're going for the King of Spades in this game, like I, I in this episode, because I feel like if we've got uh, Mira being like at the top, I feel like she's final episode boss time, and so but we still have the King of Spades out there, so I feel like the King of Spades we have to um, defeat this episode. So yeah, I don't know. Like the King of Spades has been like an ongoing boss in this um, in this season. Like, they, they started off the season with him, and st he's still alive in Episode 7, so I wonder how we're going to do this and what it's going to be like. I am I I feel like there's going to be some good action scenes in this episode. It feels like if you're going to like be saving the King of Spades for later, and you've shown in the first episode how cool the King of Spades is and how like how how, how tough he is to beat, I feel like you've got to have some good action scenes in the episode where you take him down. But I don't even know if that's what we're doing in this episode. Maybe King of Spades is like next episode, or maybe it's like a two-parter. Maybe both of these episodes are taking down the King of Spades, and maybe that's why there's a season three, because we still need to take down Miro or whatever. I don't know. I have no idea. So uh, let's jump into the episode. This is season two, episode seven. Make sure to support the video, liking, commenting, subscribing, and go to my Patreon account if you want the full length reaction and early access, which means next episode, the final episode of Alice in Borderland, will be on my Patreon account right now if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and, um, my One Piece channel as well. If you like One Piece, I have a channel called Gent Watches One Piece where I do what it says on the tin, um, and you should go check that out as well. So, let's jump into Alice in Borderland Season 2, Episode 7. Cutting to Niragi. Oh my god. Oh. I don't need to see it closer. Oh god. I feel like he's not gonna do it. Just like seeing people suffer. Oh! I mean, don't waste a bullet. Oh my god. Does it have to be in his mouth? Why are you waiting so long? You're torturing him. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking dude. <laughs> He's truly like the worst character, like the worst dude in the world. God, man, I hate Nilaki. <laughs> Target. Hello, Kuina. And hello, Ahn. Two best girls of the series, right in one place. Actually, Usagi's not here. Usagi beats out Ahn, I think. Hmm? Hopefully. That sounds good. Hopefully, neither of you die or you don't betray each other or anything. Okay, what is it? Oh, we're just cutting right to it. What the fuck? This is so weird and different. Oh shit. Now we're cutting to another one. Now we're just montaging some of these games. Oh man. One of them is just playing Mahjong. I don't know how to play Mahjong, so... King of Hearts. Oh. Whoa, look at these! Oh, I thought they were... <laughs> Never mind. I thought they were working together to climb. Oh, this is so claustrophobic. Oh, no. What is it? Is it a lion or something? I love that the laser shoots them on their way down. Like, they're already gonna die from the fall, but it just shoots them anyway. 
Oh, that's sick. <laughs> well, they did it. Only the two of them? Did, were those two the only that survived that game? King of Spades, Queen of Hearts. So these two are the ones left. Is Queen of Hearts going to be Mira? Like, it feels like the heart games are the worst ones, right? Because they're all about betrayal. And she's a queen. Because she's, you know, a beautiful woman. Well, he's got a shotgun. Is that going to be enough to take out the king? The answer is most likely no, but... <laughs> yep. Chishia, you've gone through some crazy games. <laughs> the Chishia games have been so much fun. Meloa? I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> oh! Oh! You fucking scum! You're gonna shoot! Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> You're gonna shoot Shishia? <laughs> Fuck you! I hate him! I hate him so much! Yeah, see, he's... There's like a parallel here between him and the person he saw at the start. Where he's like dying anyway, and he wants him to end his misery. But he didn't end the misery of the guy earlier in the episode. <laughs> Chishi, how can you talk that calmly? You're bleeding out. Man, we're wasting ammo we could be using on the king. Oh my god! Aww. <laughs> That's good. Oh. <laughs> Interesting him being inspired by that guy. Or seeing little bits of him in Arisu. Oh! Isagi! Be careful, don't get shot by Niragi, please. Oh my god. Don't get shot by Niragi. She's out in the open. Oh fuck! You fucking. Now you're not doing it for yourself! Oh my god, just shoot him. Oh! He did shoot though. He didn't hit her, did he? Or anyone? Oh! Chishia! Oh no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> I love Chishia. Chishia, don't think of yourself as vain and vulgar. No fucking way. Kill this cockroach. Or actually, no, don't. Let him bleed out, just like he did this guy at the start. Actually, no, don't. Kill him. I don't think you should torture him. Just, just kill him. Get rid of him. Oh, here comes the king of spades, right? <laughs> no time to mourn. Yeah. You guys gotta get to cover. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. They've all met up again. 
Um, no, we haven't seen him. Okay. <sighs> there he is. I mean, he's surely just human, right? Even if he's wearing a vest, if you get a few good shots on him, he'll probably be injured enough you can go and finish the job, I would think. Oh, careful one! Oh, shit. Kuina! No! Oh, he's using her as... Yes, Kuina! Holy shit, that was awesome! Oh, nice! Who did that? Was that Arn or was that... Oh, oh my god. Um, don't celebrate until the blimp blows up. Yeah. So he survived a car running into him and exploding. His cape's not even on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, at least we know his head's open now. We can shoot him in the head. Whoa. Nice. Oh, so close. It's cool seeing the King of Spades now. Oh! Hell yeah, girl! Oh, we're getting all our favorite characters and they're all getting like a moment of using their thing. Oh no, guys. That's embarrassing. Yes. Yes, I have a harem. Yeah. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> we don't have the history you think we have. Yes! This is great! Aww. <laughs> yeah. True. Oh, that makes sense. So it's not just to show where he is, it also is practical for him. <laughs> awesome. Oh. oh! That was a pretty good plan! <laughs> I like how they had an <laughs> chip in there just to show like she was on the police force or whatever, right? She just chips in with a little technical knowledge. This music's cool. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay, alright. This is so great. This is way better than I thought the King of Spades battle would be. This is also great for me because it's four female characters and two male left. The show's truly keeping alive the characters I want to stay alive. Except she's here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. At least it gets a fun job. I'd love to just spray those with no <laughs> concern. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes! 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 Kuina! Oh! Nice! I love that! Using both their skills really well. Oh! <laughs> These are really cool battles. Oh, he's taking that off. Yeah, he's just hampering his movement. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, this, this must suck to be in, though. Could that kill Arisu? Like, if there's that much in there? Ooh. <laughs> Queen is so fucking badass. Oh, nice. I like their plans here. 
They've got like a master plan, but any of these things could have worked as well. Nice! Oh. <laughs> oh, this show is some sick characters. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, ah! That's not like it hurt. Oh, got him through the fucking chest, though. Nice here. Oh, no. Oh, no. no! Shit, man. Oh, my God. Don't kill. Oh, no. Now they're killing all my favorite characters. One at a time. Oh. Oh, shit. I mean, Agony's a tank when he's determined. Oh! Oh, he was so close there. Wow, the way he unloaded that was sick. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm filled with adrenaline right now. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Agony, that's so sick! Flicking out the bullets! Oh, but I think there's still one in there. That's so cool! What a cool idea for an action scene. Oh. Yes, clean up! Don't get yourself killed, though! Oh. Oh no! No! no. Holy fuck! Don't kill Isagi, please! If anyone's gonna survive, please, Usagi. Queen is still fighting! Oh my god! She won't stop getting stabbed! Come on, Agony, quick! Spit the bullet out of him at a high velocity! Or use a gun. No! Oh! Oh, both her legs! <laughs> this dude's insane! Oh! After all that, the thing is I knew they couldn't have won the battle, otherwise otherwise why have Arisu do all of this, you know? Oh god. That's horrifying. Oh gosh. If he aimed for half a second more, I bet he could have got him. The fact that Kuina and Usagi are still moving is giving me a bit of hope. I think Usagi can definitely survive that. Kuina, I don't know. She got stabbed a lot of times. Oh, that seems like that was too obvious a trap. <laughs> oh no, I think he knows it's a trap, so... This isn't how you would frame the scene if it just worked, I don't think. So he's gonna have to change the plan. He's not doing it. He knows it's a trap. Oh! Agony! You fucking tank! Do it! What are you doing? He, he wanted to save Agony. Oh no, it didn't. Oh! Oh, he's gonna shoot it! <laughs> Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I mean, you can't have it be more awesome than that. I love that. Agony's like Nidagi in that he's a cockroach and he doesn't die. But we like Agony. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Final game is Queen of Hearts. I mean, you're good at Hearts games. Kinda.
Even though they hurt. Okay, Usagi's alive. For now? Oh my god, he's still breathing. Is he giving him the gun? <laughs> Finish it off. There's another parallel to the opening scene with Nanagi. But I feel like Agony's gonna do it out of respect. We see the difference between Agony and Nanagi. Um, I think it's a little late for I'm sorry's. That was the only way. Whoa. He's he's saying like dying like that would be a mercy. Is that what he's saying? Nagani, I feel like he should put him out of his misery. Well, also, I think you need to finish the game. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Agony would have respect for him. I think. God damn. Oh, Agony. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it's Hatter, of course. <laughs> Who wants forgiveness? Yeah. Oh, my God. Can he finally heal from the Hatter shit? He's finally moving past it. Holy shit. I like that they got to use Hatter's actor in season two. Because <laughs> he's a good actor. <sighs> hey, and no way you survived this, my girl. There's no way. <laughs> Shut this poor woman. You still have to... Your future self still owes you. Oh. I mean, Arn's also for sure dead, right? Queen is... Still alive. What? Arn, what the fuck? You're alive? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Arn isn't still alive. I thought she would have taken too much. No way, Usagi said. She's she's oh, she only got stabbed in the legs. <laughs> Bandage up her legs. You must register immediately. You can't be here with Usagi any longer. Chishia, you also are supposed to be dead. <laughs> Nanaki, fuck off! Die! <laughs> Queen of hearts, baby. Are you bringing Usagi into the Queen of hearts game? Because I don't know if she can play. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder what the fuck it's gonna be. <laughs> Is that Mira? Of course. <laughs> great that might have been my favorite episode i think that was that was really really good from start to finish that was a perfectly paced episode with incredible action and it i mean it paid off what like a lot of the stuff that i've been you know that they've been setting up just in terms of these characters and like what their specialties are and what what's awesome about them 
it's great that this show didn't forget what was great about them and used all of them in at some point during the episode um as you know as their skill set so like if you look at someone like um obviously usagi she's like the climber so she's very dexterous so they had her climbing on top of stuff they had her like jump through that car window at that point or like stay up top to be able to uh, assault the king from the back um you have someone like kuina who she's fucking like a great uh, hand-to-hand combat fighter and also good at using like sort of improvised weapons and stuff so she would just pop out of nowhere and just kick like i that shot towards the start of the episode where she kicks the the mirror off the car at the king is fucking awesome and then that other bit later in the episode where like she just smashes out of a um out of a store with a trolley like it's it's just it's all great kuina content i love it um, obviously, Arisu with his, his planning and um, and you know being able to come up with with really clever plans. I mean, it, it was it was a clever plan. It, it worked out. You know, it was able to it was able to take him out. Um, Agony just being a fucking tank, like he just he does not go down. He just keeps fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. And he did that to the end, and he's still alive here here by the end of this episode. You know, so um, we had that. And then Ahn being like, she's, you know, the de- she was a detective or whatever, right? She was a part of the police force or something. Um, and so she obviously had like very precise aim. And so there was like bits where there were people in front of the king and stuff. And he- she was still just hitting him perfectly. Um, and so she was very like calm and in control there. Um, and Heia with her bow and arrow, like she had some fucking sick shots. The one where she like slid underneath and did the shot upward was amazing. Um, but then also using, like, things like Heia and, uh, and Agony's, like, relationship to one another, where, like, if one of them got hurt, the other one fought harder. And, and you, they did that a few times going back and forth, where they would fight harder and harder until, um, Heia was, I think, killed. Like, I think that, that scene towards the end where she's, like, crawling and thinking about Agony is, was her death scene. Um, because I don't think, I don't think she can survive that. She got, like, the worst of it, I think, because she got, like, a close-up, like, all the way up her body. So I don't, I don't know if she can survive that. Um, but, you know, that was, that was fucking awesome. I mean, it was a brutal, brutal episode, but it, it truly, like, did all the, the, like, it's, it's strange, because, like, I thought my favorite episode of this show would be one where it does the clever little, like, Alice in Borderland, you know, coming up with a clever solution to um, to a game or whatever. And I've loved that this season has had a decent amount of that. Like, has had some, like, actual really clever solutions to these games. And I hope that the Queen of Hearts game has, like, some really clever solution stuff to it as well. But this episode, I mean, just the, the John Wickness of it made it made it so great like i mean i love the john wick movies i think they're great um and so like this this episode reminded me of john wick movies because it was very well choreographed and um and just like action after action after action and using a lot of things in the environment constantly and like it it stayed fresh each time you know it wasn't just like like i genuinely was not super looking forward to the king of spades thing because i thought that it was just gonna be bang, 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 like behind cover, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> because I didn't know the show would be able to pull off an episode like this, because this would be really fucking hard to do. I mean, it requires a lot of great choreography and cinematography to be able to keep these action things in shot and be able to like, you be able to tell what's going on, um, and also just like great planning, great environment work, like. There's a lot of really, really good stuff that went into it, so I'm super impressed. Um, I love, I mean, it's so, like, classic, cool action movie thing, but just, like, when he, when towards the end, Arisu pulls the thing off the bomb, but the fuse also, like, comes off with it or whatever, and Agony's like, fuck it, just do it, and he throws it, and Agony shoots it in the, in midair, like, that's, that's classic, like, awesome bullshit. I mean, it's funny that, like, if he was that good a shot, he probably could have just shot him in the head, you know, like, (laughs) if you're already gonna make a shot that's, like, you're shooting something that big, his head is probably twice that size, he probably could have shot his head, but 
the head, I guess the point is, uh, a head, he could, like, dodge it or whatever. Like, he moves unpredictably, but they throw the bomb and it goes in, like, a clear arc. So, maybe he's able to aim it better. That I guess that makes sense. Um, Chishia, I really thought Chishia was fully dead, but they did, like, make a... Make a um, an effort to show him, like, leaning against the car and, like, breathing heavily and stuff. So, I think he's still alive for now. Um, I feel like if they didn't, like, fully kill him here, then he'll just survive. But what, I think what it does serve to do is, like, with a lot of these characters that almost died, obviously there's a tension of, like, are they gonna die? But also, they want them to be out of commission for this last game. Because... I feel like if Chishi is in this last game, we expect him to be able to solve it, you know, because he's shown that he's able to solve all this stuff. So this was their way of like letting Chishi, uh, I mean, it was, it was honestly pretty clever to have that Niragi thing at the start. So you can take Chishi out of the King of Spades game as well, because like, frankly, he's not going to be that useful in that game. I mean, he might have an interesting little plan, but then that takes away Arisu's usefulness, who Arisu is supposed to be the one who comes up with with that cool little plan. So, um, so really he doesn't have much to do there. So instead they make him have something, you know, more interesting happen to him earlier in the episode and then also take him out of commission for the Queen of Hearts game so that again, Arisu can shine because it is his show. It's called Alice in Borderland. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that was cool. Um, I wish fucking Niragi would just be gone, be out of the show, just dead. Like I don't, I don't need him anymore. There's nothing else he can give me. I doubt he can redeem himself. Like, this is just... It's... Like, just get him out of here. Go. Leave. <laughs> um, I like the little montage of, like... Of games that are being played. I mean, I honestly... I Like, I didn't want to see all of the games in full. So, I did like that they just showed us just enough of them to get kind of what the game was. Um, but, uh... Yeah, and I also like the idea that the blimp is, like, actually practical. Like, it's following the king around, but it also, like, drops him ammo and shit. That makes so much sense. That's really cool. Because the blimp, like, it just sort of gave him away, right? But also, I was thinking about the fact that, like, wow, he has so much ammo. Like, wh where does he store all the ammo? But it makes sense. It's a huge fucking blimp. He can have tons of ammo in there. And just, like, it can just drip feed him down the ammo as he needs it. Awesome. Anyway... Um, I can't wait for next episode to wrap up the series or the season and to see what the hell this Queen of Hearts game is. This, I think, was my favorite episode. I loved it so much. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure to support this video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go to my Patreon account for full-length early access and exclusive videos. You can get the next and final episode of the season on my Patreon account right now. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.